Hello everyone, welcome back to Dr. Expert. Today we continue to analyze the Edison tall building in CSI ATAP letter version V20.2.0. Now let's start. We will start from the beginner to the complete level of the project by uh, using a uh, software ATAP. You can click on file, create new file, or you can click on this icon, new file. This is the uh, letter news of the CSI products. The CSI tape enhancement for the letter version, perform, perform 3D letter version enhancement, and SES version enhancement. You can uh, click to check what is a uh, enhancement on uh, this version and the source you can check on the watch and learn to learn tutorial 3 in uh, CSI channel menu you can click to check the design menu and uh, how to use the software knowledge best loan to the uh, CSI website and now click on new model you can uh, create new model or open existing model now let's create new uh, for the first page you can uh, use the existing material existing uh, section from the previous uh, project if you do uh, you want to save your time you don't want to create new section new load combination new material you can import it direct by using the option you show user default setting or oh, i'm sorry this this one you setting from a model file yeah if you click ok we it will loan to the existing file you can double click open that existing file to import material to import section section import load combination etc now click on the use be in setting you metric zero zero steel design concrete design zero code two version two section four click ok This is the grid dimensions in plan, plan view, and story dimension is the elevation or high order of the uh, building. Now, uh, in the default, the number of grid if is uh, 4, and number of grid in y direction is 4, spacing from one grid to other grid is h in both directions, and the number of story is 4 and bottom story 3 3 from uh, floor to floor high you can click on the custom uh, spacing to create custom uh, spacing from one grid to other grid in this option you can do only for the uh, the same okay now let's uh, check if you have four grid four grid uh, three uh, three bay so the spacing from one bay to one bay is the same eight Eight, eight. If you want to uh, edit, you can change it and edit. Display as spacing, you can edit. Now you see here, three bay. Each bay is the same. Eight meter, eight meter. And for the y direction, it is the same. Now if I want to change it to three, three, and spacing in it. And y direction do the same e h h and number of story we change it to 32 floor and type cost story yeah we keep it three meter for the tall building and uh, the tom story three meter you can do to uh, edit cost tom grid you can edit as a coordinate input it as the coordinate 0 to h a to uh, sitting if you you so in the spacing eight meter eight meter and for the 
but those side you can change the but those side here is the but those side around the letter A and B and C you can change it to 800 okay now you can see here the the but uh, the 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 but both both side now it it was smaller than the previous uh, but both side click OK and custom story data it did custom story data there are forty two story and the master story is at the top of the building in the floor uh, at the story 32 so when you do uh, the similar story function in the tab it will be the same from the best story to the top story when you do the similar story you only uh, there only one floor and the floor is the same so if you can uh, you want to separate it in a different floor you can uh, add it yes now I want to uh, model this floor 25 at the same with story uh, 26 you can click on the no and change it to story 26 so uh, this story will be the same with the story 26 when you uh, model it so you can uh, add more master story now we want to keep it the same click on no and change it to story 32 so this one is the master story you uh, model one story other story is the same when you do the function similar story in the tab and this one is the color for different story you can display it as the story color okay now click on okay and you can do the grid only or you can use the deck or stature struts or flat slab or flat slab with parameter beam or rust for slab two way or rip slab you can select on uh, this option now let's check click and you can edit more information in this uh, property first left you can add more pt okay add, add pt slab it did now we will start everything uh, from start you we will learn how to create new section how to create or uh, import new material now so let's start you can click on blank or only grid now click on only grid okay for more detail about how to import uh, the SF file in uh, a tab, you can check in my tutorial. Three, the complete design DS file in a tab. In this tutorial three, I uh, show you more detail about how can you uh, import the, the AutoCAD file. You convert it from the architectural plan to textural plan and uh, draw as beam element, slab element, core wall and anything else is similar and you can check with the D233 now I want to show you we are at T yes D233 complete design building in a tab from the ES file so in the uh, tutorial I complete it in one and one hour and 43 minutes about how to analyze the design how to draw a structural element and how to convert it from the uh, uh, the ES file and import to the ATF file. This one is more detail how to draw beam element, how to draw the slab as the polyline, and how to draw the opening. You can check more detail about this tutorial. For the small building, this one is ground floor, first floor, second floor, and third floor. 
now come back to the, our tutorial you can check now if you want to edit for the grid you can edit in uh, the case you not define it correctly you can change it click on the blank peg right click click on add modify grid now click on modify modify so grid system you can add new grid system you can delete this grid system or copy existing grid and pass or add from the des file now let's check about the modify so grid systems you can you can edit it as the rectangular grid in the display at the coordinate system or by spacing now click uh, on spacing we want to add another new grid in a direction now let add and tie it 8 meter so we want to add for another grid and in it direction you can click OK and you can click on refresh we use now you see here the uh, grid update in the in the page or in the interface of the a tab now click on OK after we uh, complete for the grid system now let's create uh, the material you can uh, define material property click on material property this is the default material property in the tab for the concrete 4000 psi and uh, uh, rebar grade you can change this one for the steel grade in the tab steel and uh, rebar is not the same steel refer to the i section or c section or a section or the hot rule or be a uh, hot rule section and for this grade or the rebar refer to the uh, round uh, round bar or the form bar db20 db22 db25 or db16 you can modify and check the default uh, material in the tab yes the material type is rebar and directional system type is and the shore and this one the material display color and the unit web per volume is uh, kilo newton per cubic meter and modulo elasticity is around 200 gigapascal and coefficient of thermal expansion you can modify the material this is the default material and the minimum resistance is 413.69 megapascal now click console console we want to create the new material you can edit from uh, from the material now i don't want to edit it i want to import the new material create click on new material the region you can uh, import from other region from the Canada, China, India, Italy, Korea, New Zealand, Russia, Spain, Vietnam, United States, United States, or by user. Now for the concrete, we use the concrete from the zero paint. Click on the material tie, change to the concrete. In a tab, you can. Uh, import the material type steel, concrete, aluminum, coal form, rebar, tendons, masonry, and other. So uh, now we click on the concrete and the standard follow the uh, 1992 one one. And the concrete straight uh, concrete we add the concrete strength 40 for the column. Okay, 45 for the column okay see 45 55 check the material now it correct 
45 megapascal and damping uh, and click on OK add new other material for the uh, sorry we add the same material for concrete but different strength zero concrete and now 45 okay 45 for slip 40 for slip and beam click ok click ok and add new material change it to the Vietnam change it to the riba and change to the standard in the material we use uh, 400 megapascal for the main bar diameter greater than uh, 10 millimeter click ok and now i call it main bar main riba you can check for the gear strength this one the minimum gear strength on the riba is 400 megapascal click ok add new riba we change it to 240 for the link bar or for the stirrup click one i call it stirrup fy 240 MPA and you can edit it main bar SY to uh, 400 MPA we define this uh, material property for the concrete and for the riba available in uh, local zone in my local zone uh, in the uh, range of steel you can do from uh, 400 to 500 but it's 400 megapascal is the uh, is the most popular uh, ribas gear strength in my local area. It is easy to find it in the uh, store to uh, to buy this material. And for stir up this one for the riba less uh, diameter less than uh, 10 millimeter, also available in my local area. And for concrete, okay. Uh, it's okay for look area now click OK to make sure in your look area can supply the material if you have SY500 to make sure you can buy the riba strength at the 500 megapascal this one uh, is also the let uh, supplier so click on OK now click on define section section we the add new section now there are a lot of default section I want to delete it click on delete click one stick control delete select frame section again select the first one see control delete you cannot delete HE 450A at least one one section in the default now click on ok so this is the one section to store in the default uh, default frame property now click on add new property concrete rectangle you can change it to the steel to the concrete anthropocene so it concrete recall now we want to use the concrete rectangle and change the section you can create an, another section for the T and for the I for the steel for the special non priest and for auto section list we want to uh, design and optimize it you can use the option is very good in the tab general section you can define any section special shape in a tab or you can design composite using the composite with the concrete and I-beam uh, circular section concrete with the I-beam 
now we let's start for the rectangular click on rectangular uh, in this state uh, we had to assume the section you can uh, check for how to do free uh, how to uh, how to do pre-dimension pre-dimension in uh, my two three or three you can check it to get more knowledge how to estimate load and how to get the uh, trial section in this state we have to input trial section if you have a town or experience on tall building design or super tall building you can estimate it easily when you see the building and the bay you can estimate the section for the beam and for the column for the wall well this one we start from the design trial now let's change the riba uh, property name to the column now let's start 100 centimeter multiply with 100 centimeter change the material for the ground column to 45 cylinder and 55 uh, cubic strength in uh, this state you can change it if uh, you you do not define the material in the first step you can define material in this stage by clicking these three icon and add new material and you can you add copy material okay click ok now uh, for the section we keep it the section shape rectangular now set the dimension in this one you can uh, use the rectangular section or square section now i choose to use the uh, rectangular uh, square section so you can change it to 60 uh, 80 multiply with 1 ok 120 centimeter the dip is when uh, the dip is 120 centimeter it's 1200 millimeter and the width is 70 and uh, modify sorry bar click this one for the rebar material long longitudinal rebar for the main rebar we change it to sy 400 megapascal and for the tie bar for stirrup we change it to 240 megapascal uh, for if, if you want to use the diameter less than uh, uh, 10 meter uh, 10 millimeter so for tall building we keep it to the diameter 10 millimeter so in the case we had to change it to the tie bar or stir up strength is the same with the main bar it 400 megapascal we use uh, the db 10 millimeter for the stir up and this one we can uh, Define the rainfall configuration for the rectangular and design for tie in the circular. You can choose for the tie and spiral. This one spiral and tie. You can check more detail about the tie and spiral column. This one is uh, popular in uh, uh, American. You can choose a spiral for the upper column or for the Foundation. This one is uh, popular for the foundation. We use the spiral, tie spiral, and now select the rectangular. And this option you can check a design. In this one, if you click on the reinforcement to be designed, we this way we use this section and calculate the area or rebar requirement in this section. If you use the reinforcement to be checked. In the case you have to input all the information below here 
correctly. It's important if you want to use uh, the diameter of 32 and corner diameter at the four corner of the column, also the same, 42, uh, 32. And the number, okay, and each side you can change it correctly according to the design, uh, specific design and according to the structural plan okay now let's say this one we want to verify in this section with the riba diameter and arrangement like this one so in the case you can use the reinforcement to be checked yes section with the arrangement or reinforcement with uh, the riba strength and diameter input in the section to verify the capacity of the section but in the case we want to focus about the reinforcement to be designed now click on design and confirm bar we keep 10 millimeter uh, in the option it is very important to define to input the correct parameter in the long shoot uh, long we should know bus and comfort member so but if we click on the design reinforcement to be designed we can continue it and for modify and so modifier we can modify it later and section property you can check it the section name and waste material click ok Click OK. As I tell you, in this stage, we just uh, select one section, design three section, and you can update it. If this section is not passed, you can increase the section. Now create other new section. We use the rectangular, this one for the beam. And for the beam, we uh, change it to the contract strength uh, 30. Uh, yeah. 30, okay. Uh -huh. I call it beam. Now, in the case, we can uh, do higher strength. Now, click add new material and drop concrete certify okay okay change it to certify and the beam section we uh, use the main beam and for the other direction we use uh, the main beam with the secondary beam now let's check the beam calculator define the beam diameter uh, the beam dip 8000 divide 15 the beam section is at least 550 now let's say it's 700 for the main beam and the width is 300 and modify sorry bar change it to the beam design and this one for the long shortenary bar to the group to the centroid group this is the cover cover from the uh, the top the top of the section to the centroid or the long shortenary bar so we can keep it and long shortenary bar we change it and confirm and bar we can keep it in the uh, FY 240 megapascal for the round bar click OK this one I call it beam OB 30 multiply with 70 centimeter click OK and click add copy of property and B